ആധാരമെന്റെ ശതകം ട്വന്റി വൺ ടു തേർട്ടി നമസ്യാസംസജ നമുചി പരിപന്തി പ്രണയിനി നിസർഗ പ്രേംകോല കുരല കുല കാലാകി ശബലേ നഖച്ഛായ ദുഗ്ധോ ധതി പയസി ദേ വൈദ്രുമരുച പ്രചാരോ കമാക്ഷി പ്രചുരയതി പാദാബ്ജ സുഷമ കാമാക്ഷി പാദാബ്ജ സുഷമ സുഷമ മീൻസ് ദ ബ്യൂട്ടി ദ ബ്യൂട്ടി ഓഫ് യുവർ ലോട്ടസ് ഫേ പ്രചുരയതി ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഇറ്റ് മാഗ്നിഫൈസ് ഇറ്റ് മാഗ്നിഫൈസ് വാട്ട് ഹി ഇസ് ഡിസ്ക്രൈബിംഗ് നമസ്യ സംസജ്ജന് നമുചി പരിപന്ധി പ്രണയിനി നമുചി പരിപന്ധി പ്രണയിനി ഇസ് ഇന്ദ്രാണി നമുചി ഇസ് അസുര നമുചി പരിപന്ധി ദി എനിമി ഓഫ് ദി അസുര നമുചി പ്രണയിനി ദ ബിലവഡ് ദ ബിലവഡ് ഓഫ് ദ എനിമി ഓഫ് ദി അസുര നമുചി ദറ്റ് ഇസ് ബിലവഡ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ദ്ര ദറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇന്ദ്രാണി നമസ്യ സംസജ്ജന് വെൻ ഷീ ഈസ് പ്രോസ്ട്രേറ്റിംഗ് വെൻ ഷീ ഈസ് ഡൂയിങ് ദ പ്രോസ്ട്രേറ്റ് സംസജ്ജന് ഡൂയിങ് ഡൂയിങ് ഇറ്റ് പ്രോപ്പർലി സി ഈസ് വി ഓൾസോ പ്രോസ്ട്രേറ്റ് ബട്ട് വി ഡോണ്ട് പ്രോസ്ട്രേറ്റ് പ്രോപ്പർലി അഞ്ചാംഗ നമസ്കാര അഷ്ടാംഗ നമസ്കാര ദേ ആർ ഓൾ സ്പെസിഫൈഡ് ഫോർ എസ് ബട്ട് വി ഡോണ്ട് ഡൂ പ്രോപ്പർലി ബട്ട് ഷീ ഈസ് നോട്ട് ലൈക്ക് ദ നമസ്യ സംസജ്ജന് ഷീ ഈസ് ഡൂയിങ് ദ നമസ്കാര പ്രോപ്പർലി ആസ് പ്രിസ്ക്രൈബ്ഡ് ഇൻ ശാസ്ത്ര നമസ്യ സംസജ്ജന് namuchi paripanthi pranayini when she prostrates what is happening nisarga prengkolathu kurala kula kalahi shabale now he is describing the hair which is on the head of indrani nisarga prengkolathu prengha we have seen before like a swing like a swing prengkolathu swinging nisarga naturally it swings the hair swings naturally kurala kula the mass of hair kula mass kurala is lock of hair mass of hair the mass of hair swings naturally when she prostrates because it opens out then what is the hair compared to the hair is compared to kala ahi shabale kala ahi means black serpent ahi means serpent kala ahi black serpent shabala means variegated giving variegated appearance black serpent if you have seen it gives not just black color it gives a special shine which is variegation because it has something like ratna at the head and so on similarly the hair of indrani is also having ornaments etc so it is not just a black color it is a variegated shining black serpent that is what the hair is being compared to now why he is bringing the hair now for uh, describing the beauty of the lotus feet now he is going to tell us nakachaya dugdo dadi payasi now this uh, black serpent is in the ocean payasi ocean dugdo dadi payasi in the waters of the milky ocean dugdha is milk udadhi ocean payasi water in the waters of the milk ocean where is the milk ocean here nakachaya the shine from the nails the shine from the nails is the milk ocean waters in that milk ocean waters uh, when indrani prostrates the her hair looks like a variegated black serpent now why he is bringing all this now what is the role of the feet now feet is doing vaidruma rucham pracharam prachurayati vidruma is coral in uh, so, uh, ocean you have uh, a black serpent coming in the ocean you have corals also coming in the ocean so come oh vaidruma rucham the shine of vidruma shine of coral coral shine pracharam expansion prachurayati magnifies the expansion the expanded shine of corals your feet are magnifying 
showing it in an increasing manner against a background of ocean, milk ocean, which is the shine from the nails. And there is a black variegated serpent, which is the hair of the moving hair, Nisarga rainfall, moving naturally, like a swinging, swinging naturally of Indrani, who is the beloved of the enemy of Namuchi and who is prostrating, doing the prostration nicely as laid down in the Shastra. So your feet are spreading, the corals shine. That is the point against this background. ಕ್ಷಣಾತೆ ಕಾಮಾಕ್ಷಿ ತ್ರಿಭುವನ ಪರೀತಾಪಹರಣೆ ಪಟೀಹ್ಯಾಂಸೇ ಪದ ಕಮಲ ಸೇವಾ ಮೃತರಸೂ ಕದಾ ವೆನ್ ಲಪ್ಸ್ಯೆ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಲಪ್ಸ್ಯೆ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಲಪ್ಸ್ಯೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಕದಾ ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಪದ ಕಮಲ ಸೇವಾ ಅಮೃತ ರಸಂ ಪದ ಕಮಲ ಯುವರ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಸೇವಾ ವರ್ಷಿಪಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ನಾವು how is the worship amruta rasa it is just beautiful amruta when will i get the amruta rasa of worshiping at your lotus feet now that amruta rasa is being described duri kartum katu durite kakola janitam mahantam santapam mahantam santapam duri kartum the great misery santapa the great mahantam great great misery duri kartum to remove to remove the great misery where is the misery katu durita kakola janitam kakola is poison because padakamala seva has been described as amrita rasa now poison is coming amrita amrita is required for removing poison so your um, seva amrita is required for removing poison what is the poison katu durita intense sins katu is intense katu is actually bitter intense because bitter poison intense poison which is caused by sins which i have committed over so many janmas so many janmas i have committed durita so many sins so those sins are the poison and those that poison is creating great misery mahantam santapam great misery in me that has to be removed by amrita rasa which is seva madana paripanthi priyatame this is an address to kamakshi madana paripanthi enemy of manmatha paripanthi enemy enemy of madana enemy of manmatha priyatame she was beloved like we saw last shloka namuchi paripanthi pranayini similarly madana paripanthi priyatame similar descriptions he is bringing that was for indrani this is for kamakshi ಕ್ಷಣಾತ್ ತೇ ಕಾಮಾಕ್ಷಿ ತ್ರಿಭುವನ ಪರೀತಾಪಹರಣೆ ಪಟೀಯಾಂ ಸಂ ಕ್ಷಣಾತ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಮೃತ ರಸ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕೇಪಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಅಮೃತ ರಸ ಪಟೀಯಾಂ ಸಂ ಪಟೀಯಾಂ ಸಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ತ್ರಿಭುವನ ಪರೀತಾಪಹರಣೆ ಹರಣೆ ರಿಮೂವಿಂಗ್ removing the misery of all the three worlds khanat in no time in a second in a second your feet your amrita rasa not your feet ha huh? your amrita rasa the the amrita rasa of seva if i worship at your lotus feet i get amrita that amrita is in fact, even i can remove because i have now got the amrita rasa even i uh, i am able, able to remove the misery of the three worlds in a second that kind of amrita rasa when will i get which 
is able to uh, remove the great misery born out of the poison of intense sins which I have committed over so many Janmas. Oh, beloved of enemy of Manmatha, oh Kamakshi, you are the Amrita Rasa of Seva at your lotus feet is expert in removing the misery, Haritapa misery of all the three worlds in a second, Shanati. Yayo Sandhyam Rochihi Satata Marunimne Spruhayate Yayo Chandri Kantihi Paripatati Drishtva Nakaruchim Yayo Papo Drekam Pipatishati Bhaktya Kisalayum Bradhim Nakamakya Manasi Charano Tau Tanumahe Kamakshaha Tau Charano Manasi Tanumahe Tanumahe means we fill, we stretch, we stretch those feet of Kamakshi in our mind. We fill our minds with those feet. What kind of feet? Now he is describing the beauty of the feet. Yayoho of those feet. Sandhyam Rochihi Satatam Arunimne Sprihayate. Yayoho Arunimne. Yayoho goes with Arunimne. The red color of the lotus feet. Arunima is red color, we have seen. The red color of the lotus feet. Sandhyam Rochihi Satatam Sprihayate. Sandhyam Rochihi, the shine, the brilliance of the twilight, of the Sandhya Kala. Sandhya Kala, as we all know, has got a Arunima color. Sandhya Kala has got a red color. Now, that red shine, Sprihayate, it is desiring, it is intensely desiring to attain this Arunima, this lotus uh, feet, red color of Kamakshi's lotus feet. Is it clear? That is, the twilight has got its own red shine, but that is not satisfied. The twilight red color is not satisfied. So it is desiring to get this red color, which is of Kamakshi lotus feet. Similarly, Yayoho Chandri Kantihi Paripatati Drishtva Nakaruchim. Yayoho Nakaruchim. On seeing the radiance of the nail, Chandri Kanti Drishtva on seeing. Chandri Kantihi Paripatati, the, the shine of Chandra, the shine of moon, Paripatati falls down. Falls down means it gets defeated. The moon shine gets defeated on seeing the shine of nails. Then, Yayoho Pakodrekam Pipatishati Bhaktya Kisalayam Mradimnaha. Kisalayam Yayoho Pakodrekam Mradimnaha Pipatishati. That is the order. Kithayam, the shoot, the tender plant, the tender plant, Pipatishati wants to read. Pipatishati, Patha is the, Patri is the root. From there, this word is formed. Pipatishati means desires to read. Bhaktya with devotion. The tender plant. Wishes to read with devotion. What it wishes to read? Yayoho mradimnaha pakodrekam. Yayoho of the lotus feet. Mradimnaha mridu. That is the softness. The softness. Pakodrekam. Pakodrekam is paka means maturity. Udrekam is preponderance. Preponderance excess of softness. So that Mridimna, the softness he is describing in so beautiful terms. It's not ordinary softness. This is special softness. This is mature softness. It is preponderant softness. That means you cannot find this kind of softness anywhere else. Preponderance of maturity. Udreka is preponderance. Preponderance of maturity of softness. That softness 
this Kesalaya wants to attain. The tender plant is always very soft, but it's not satisfied with that. So it wants to read the softness of the preponderant, mature softness of the lotus feet. It wants to read with devotion. Similarly, we also should adopt devotion when we fill our minds with lotus feet because we started with Manasi Tanumahe. We fill the lotus feet in our minds. Now, the lotus feet have got red color, which is being desired by the shine of the Sandhya Kala. The shine of the nail is so great that the moon's shine gets defeated on seeing this. The Kisalaya, the tender plant, wishes to read the preponderant, mature softness of the lotus feet. Those lotus feet we fill in our minds. Tanu Mahe. Jagalledham nedham paramiti paritya jayati bhi kushagriya svantaihi kushaladishanai shastra saranu Gaveshu Kamakshi Dhruvama Kritaka Nam Giri Sute Giram Aidam Paryam Tava Charana Padmum Vijayate Tava Charana Padmum Vijayate Your lotus feet shine. Now the lotus feet is being described. Lotus feet are being Daveshyam, they are being searched, they are being sought. By whom they are sought? Yati bihi, by yatis, by those who have controlled their minds, the lotus feet are being sought. They are looking for, yatis are looking for this lotus feet always. Now, how do they do this? What is the process by which yatis look for these lotus feet? Jagan nedam nedam parameti parityajya. They leave aside parityajya. They leave aside, they abandon jagat, the world. Why they abandon the world? Nedam nedam param. Na idam param. Na idam param. This is not supreme. This is not supreme. This is being repeated twice for emphasis. That means world is of no consequence. World is not supreme at all. This is what is being described in Upanishads as Neti Neti. There is a famous statement, Neti Neti in Brihadaranika Upanishad. Neti Neti theory is taught in Brihadaranika Upanishad that is being referred to here. Jagat Nedam Nedam Param. This is not supreme. This is not supreme. So, because of that reason, Jagat Parityajya, yeah, they abandon the world. Who? Yati Bihi. By sannyasis, world is abandoned. How are these sannyasis? What, what do they do? Kushagriya Swantaihi, Kushala Dhishanaihi, Shastra Saranau, Gaveshyam. Gaveshyam to be searched. How they should search? Where they should search? They should search in Shastra Saranau, in the path in the road of Shastras. They cannot deviate from Shastras and then say, I am searching for Kamakshi's feet. No, they will not get. Even if they have controlled their minds, ATB means what? They have controlled their minds, self-controlled. Even they, when they are looking for Kamakshi's feet, they have to stick to Shastras. Shastra Saranav Gaveshyam. They have to search in the path laid down by Shastras. How they should search? It's not easy to find. Even if they follow Shastras, it is not easy to find. Even for atheists, what to speak of people like us. Kusha griya swantaihi. Kusha, kusha means darbha. Kusha gra is as sharp as darbha's edge. Swanta, intellect. They have to use intellect, which is very sharp. Which is sharp like kusha gra, like the edge of darbha grass. This is always a comparison made with sharp intellect. If you have a very sharp intellect, you are known as Kushagra Buddhi. Same is mentioned here. Kushagriya Swantaihi. 
those who have kushagra buddhi they have to use kushagra buddhi intellect which is as sharp at the end edge of garbhagra uh, kusala dhishanaihi they have used uh, intellect which is sharp but they have not used all the power no there is not enough kusala means full dhishana means buddhi kusala means full samarthya full capacity full capacity they have to use in the shastra sarana in the path of the shastra the vaishyam they have to go and search there that kind of sarana padma is shining now girisute o daughter of samavan dhruvam akrutakana giram aidam paryam why they are searching for this what is the necessity of searching with, with so much of effort they have abandoned the world Uh, saying nedam param nedam param this is not supreme they have abandoned the world they are using their best intellect kushagra intellect and they are using full power of their intellect and they are sticking to shastra path and they are searching for why what is the necessity because dhruvam akrutakana giram this feet is nothing but akrutaka means vedas akrutaka means not man made Akrutaka is man-made, artificial. Akrutaka, not man-made. Gira, words, not man-made words. That is Vedas. Dhruvam, this has been eternal. It. What is eternal? Kamakshi feet are eternal, and that is certified by Vedas. Dhruvam, Akrutaka na, Giram, Aidam Paryam. Aidam Paryam means this is the purport this is the final aim this is the purport this is the final aim this is the main object of the words of uh, vedas akrutakanam giram aidam paryam this is the main object of the words of vedas and this is eternal as certified by the vedas this is eternal dhruvam so because it is eternal because it is the main object of the vedas yetis who have self control the mind they are searching sticking to the path of shastra using their kushagra the sharp intellect sharp like the end of the darbha edge of the darbha grass they are using all their power kushala dushana and they have abandoned the world saying this is not supreme jagat nedam param nedam param saying this is not supreme this is not supreme they have abandoned the world so that kind of search when those yetis have undertaken we should also try to attain those lotus feet so that was the message conveyed by the poet krita snanam shastramrita sarasi कामाक्षितरां दधानो वैषद्यं कालितरसमानंद सुधया अलोकारो भूमेहे मुनिजनमनच्छिल्मयमगा पयो देहे अंतस्थं तव चरणरत्नो मृगयते the third line muni jana manaha that is the noun for this main shloka muni jana manaha the mind of the munis the mind of the munis tava charana ratnam mrigayate mrigayate means seeks looks for searches seeks your charana your feet which is a gem charana ratna now the description of the charana ratna in the balance lines krita snanam shastra amrita sarasi now this description can be attributed to muni jana manaha the mind of the munis or it can also be attributed to charana ratnam the shloka has been framed in such a way that it applies to both that is 
the seeker as well as the object sought both are good in respect of the descriptions krutasnanam shastra amrita sarasi amrita sarasi amrita pond pond of amrita which pond of amrita shastra amrita sarasi of the shastra krutasnanam having bathed having taken bath in the pond of nectar of shastras the emphasis on shastras which we have been seeing in earlier shlokas also shastra saranau we saw last time so similar emphasis is given here also for the seeker as well as for the sought shastra amrita sarasi krutasnanam o kamakshi dadhanam nitaram vaishadyam dadhanam means holding nitaram excellent very high vaishadyam clarity vishada means clear vaishadyam clarity that means there is no absence of clarity in the minds of the munis as to what they are going to seek now the problem with all of us is we have so many aims in life we get confused we run after so many aims we don't have any aikagri chitta whereas munis are capable of that capable of aikagri chitta so they are having clarity excellent clarity nitaram vaishadyam dadanam they hold excellent clarity that also applies to the charana ratnam because charana ratnam is very clear as to what it is going to give us it is going to give us moksha it is going to give us whatever you seek so it is very clear kalita ra kalita rasa rasam ananda sudhaya kalita rasam ananda sudhaya kalita means having kept having uh, having imagined rasam ananda sudhaya ananda sudha is ananda amrita ananda nectar of bliss nectar of bliss which is very sweet kalita rasam means rasam is there rasam is there kalita rasam which is very sweet which is, what is very sweet ananda sudha is very sweet now that essence of ananda sudha is there in the minds of the munis as well as in the charana ratna they are already bathed in shastra amrita saras they are very clear about what they want and what they give and they are filled filled with the essence of the nectar of ananda bliss now the balance of the description applies only to charana ratna Alankaram bhumehe. Taranaratnam is the decoration, is the ornament, is the adornment of bhumi, of the earth. Mulijana manaha chinmaya maya maha payodhehe antastham. Now, where to find this Taranaratnam? Where to find this Taranaratnam? That is the next question that is being answered. Kinmaya maha payodhehe antastham. Antastham is inside, residing inside, where maha payodhehe, the great ocean, the great inside the great ocean, which great ocean? Kinmaya, of the form of consciousness, because there is nothing but consciousness in the entire creation. There is nothing but consciousness, which is Devi, in the entire creation. whatever we think whatever objects we think are there they are all mithya they are all false so the real reality is only only chit so chinmaya maha payodhehe antastham tava charana ratnam brigayate so muni jana manaha the minds of munis look for seek your charana ratnam the, the the lotus feet which is the gem having bathed in the pond which is nectarine which is of shastras and possessing excellent clarity and also enjoying full of the bliss nectarine bliss which is very sweet the charana ratnam is the adornment of the earth and it has to be sought in inside the great ocean of 
consciousness. Mano gehe mohod bhavati mirapune mama mugu daritrani kurvan dinakara sagasani kiranehi vidhattam kamakshi prasumaratamo manchana chanaga chanardham sanidhyam charanamani deepo jananite charana mani deepa last time it was charana ratnam now this time it is a lamp lamp gem studded lamp which is the lotus feet of kamakshi now what is the there is a prayer here shanardham sanidhyam vidhattam that is the prayer shanardham for half a second sanidhyam vidhattam sanidhyam present vidhattam please make may presence be made for half a second of that lamp which is gem studded lamp which is your lotus foot where to make that presence mano gehe geha is griha same that is residence the residence of my mind where the sanidhyam is requested sanidhyam is requested in the house which is my mind moh how is the mind that mind is being described mohod bhava timira purne mama mama manogehe which is mohod bhava timira purne timira is darkness full of darkness darkness born moha udbhava udbhava means born of moha delusion my mind is full of darkness born of delusion so that kind of mind where there is darkness complete darkness let your lamp be lighted and be present in the house of my mind now the, the charanamani deepava is being described further muhuhu that is frequently daridrani kurvan dinakara sahasrani kiranaihi dinakara sahasrani thousands of suryas dinakara surya thousands of suryas or being made daridrani being made very poor that means poor in the quality of light poor does not mean poor in wealth poor in quality of light thousands of suryas are impoverished in terms of light by your kiranaihi by the rays which are emanating from the lamp which is your lotus feet prasrumara tamo vanchana chanaha that is the next description of the charanamani deepa prasrumara means spreading all round very dense spreading all round tamaha darkness vanchana vanchana is actually cheating here it means removing destroying chanaha means expert master your charanamani deepa is a master is an expert in cheating in destroying darkness which is all pervading when it can remove the darkness which is all pervading why can it not remove the darkness which is inside my mind manoge he when it can make thousands of suryas poor impoverished in terms of uh, prakasha in terms of brilliance how is it that you cannot bring it to my mind and remove my dark, darkness in my mind that is the question that is why chanardham sanidhyam vidhatam at least for half a second if you bring the lamp to my mind then the darkness will go mohod bhava timira purne the darkness which is born out of delusion because your uh, charanamani deepa is capable of destroying darkness which is all pervasive destroying the uh, making poor thousands of suryas by your rays kavina chetovat nakhar ruchi sampakki vibhune shavanti shotovat patu mukharitam hams karavai dinaram bashival 
नियत मरुण छाय सुब मदस्तक्या स्फुरतु पद पंखे सुगयुग कामाक्षा पद पंकेह युग मदंत स्फुर दट इज द प्रेयर द लास्ट लाइन कामाक्षा ऑफ कामाक्षी पद पंकेह युग पंकेह इज अनदर टर्म फॉर लोटस पंकेह अनदर टर्म फॉर लोटस पंकजा पंकेह बोथ मीन द सेम पद पंकेह द लोटस फीट युग द टू द ट्वीन लोटस फीट द पैर ऑफ लोटस फीट शुड शाइन स्फुर मदंत इन मै इन सैड मी मत अंत इन सैड मी दट इज इन मै मैं इन मै मैं लेट द लोटस फीट शाइन नव द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द लोटस फीट कवीना केतोवत नखर रुचि संपर्क दिस हेज गॉट अ twin meaning kavinam kayato vat it is like the minds of the poet your lotus feet or like the minds of the poet chetah is mind kavinam kayato vat nakhara ruchi samparki nakhara is the nails shine of the nails by shining of the nails it is having contact with samparka is contact with the poet's mind that means what poet's mind is shining with the brightness of the nails of lotus feet that may because the poets are always meditating on the lotus feet the lotus feet are so compassionate that the nakhar ruchi nakhara ruchi is giving the shine in their mind that is uh, first meaning second meaning is na khara na khara means khara means harsh see the poet could have used nakhar ruchi he is using nakhara ruchi he is adding the word the letter ra there because it gives the second meaning nakhara means nails as well as na khara not harsh not harsh means sweet that means sweet words arise in the minds of the kavis because of the lotus feet because of the lotus feet they are able to produce sweet words na khara ruchihi the shining lotus the shining um, soft words sweet words vibudha prabanti srotovat patu mukharitam hamsakaravaihi the next uh, description विबुध स्रवंती स्रोत विबुध स्रोत ये गंगा स्रोत इज रिवर् विबुध इज सेलेस्टियल देवलोक देवलोक रिवर् स्रवंती मीन फ्लोयिंग देवलोक रिवर् विच इज फ्लोयिंग स्रोतो वत् लाइक द फर्स्ट पैरल वाज कवीना चेत द सेकेंड पैरल इज विबुध स्रवंती स्रोतो वत् वत् मीन लाइक like the ganga which is flowing patu mukharitam hamsa karavaihi mukharitam means making lot of sound patu means a uh, lot of sound mukharitam making sound patu a lot of sound hamsa karavaihi hamsa ka is swan rava is sound the lot lot of swans are present in the ganga river they make lot of giggling sound so because of the giggling sound it is lot of lot of sound is being generated in the ganga river like that your uh, lotus feet is making sound like with, with what hamsaka ravaihi hamsaka also means anklet hamsaka has got two meaning one is anklet another is the he could have said hamsa ravaihi like last time we saw nakhara he is adding the letter ka hamsa ka means a small swan hamsa ka ravaihi hamsa ka also means anklet by the sounds of your anklet you are making a lot of sound like the flowing ganga river which is making a lot of sound because of the 
swans. So this is the poet's imagination, parallels he is drawing. Then next parallel, third parallel. Dinarambha Srivat, Dinarambha, the starting point of the daytime, that is Surya's rise, rise of sun, sunrise. Srivat, Sri means the glory, the, the shine, the shine and the glory of the sunrise, like that Srivat. Niyatam Aruna Chaya Subhagam. Niyatam means it is always there, present always. Aruna Chaya Subhagam. Aruna Chaya, the shine of red color, because your feet are having the shine of red color. Aruna Chaya Subhagam. Subhagam is beautiful. Beautiful red color is there in your lotus feet. And in the case of sun, it is Aruna Chaya, because the Aruna who is driving the chariot, he appears first. Arunodaya is first and that is why the red color, because he is spreading the red color. So Arunacha, it applies to sun. Like the sunrise where the beautiful red color is caused by Arunodaya, similarly, your feet are always spreading beautiful red color, Aruna Chaya Subhagam. So these are the three descriptions of your uh, lotus feet. And then the prayer is that your lotus feet should shine in my mind. The, it is the lotus feet or like the minds of the poets where the shine of the nails is giving the beauty and the poets are able to produce the words which are not harsh, which are sweet. Then second example is the flowing Ganga river, which is making a lot of sound because of the swans and your feet are making sounds because of the anklets. The third example is your lotus feet or like the rising sun, like the glory of the rising sun, you have the glory of the red color in your lotus feet and the sun has got the glory of the red color because of the Arunodaya. That is the third parallel. Sadha kim samparkat prakriti kati nahi na ki mukutai tatair neha radre adhika manuna yogi manasa vibhilde samogam. Shishirayati bhaktanapi drisham hadrishyam kamakshi prakatayati te padayugalu. Padayugalam, your twin lotus feet, he is giving three descriptions of the lotus feet. Sadakim samparkati. Prakriti Kachinaihi Naki Mukutaihi. Naki is Devas. Naka is Devaloka. Naki is Devas. Mukutaihi, the crowns, crowns of the Devas when they prostrate to Devi. Samparkati, because of Mukutaihi, Samparkati, because of the contact with the crowns. Prakriti Kachinaihi, they are naturally hard. They are not made of soft material, naturally. They, the crowns are made of hard material. So, Prakriti Kathinaihi, by nature, they are hard. The Devaloka, Devas Mukuta, the crown. Because of contact with that, your feet, which are generally soft, acquire hardness. After acquiring hardness, what do they do? The third line. Vibhinte Sammoham. They are able to break the hard delusion of people. Vibhinte means break, rend asunder. Break the sammoham, the great delusion. Moha is delusion, sammoham, the great delusion of people. The great delusion of people, you are able to break that, that hard, dense mass of delusion, you are able to break because your feet have acquired hardness by contact with the naturally hard surfaces of Devalokas, dev, Devas, crowns. That is the first. Then second, there are three points here. Tataihi Niharadrehe Adhikam. Tataihi 
ತಟೈಹಿ ನಿಹಾರ ಅಧಿಕಂ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ತಟೈಹಿ ನಿಹಾರಾದ್ರೇಹಿ ನಿಹಾರಾದ್ರೇ ಇಸ್ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ಅದ್ರಿ ಮೀನ್ ಅಚಲ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೌಂಟನ್ ನಿಹಾರ ಇಸ್ ತುಷಾರಾದ್ರಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ನೋ ನಿಹಾರಾದ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ನೋ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಡ್ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ್ ತಟೈಹಿ ದ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲೀಸ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲೀಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸಂಪರ್ಕಾತ್ ಸಂಪರ್ಕಾತ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಟು ಬೋತ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸಂಪರ್ಕಾತ್ ಮುಕುಟೈಹಿ ಸಂಪರ್ಕಾತ್ ತಟೈಹಿ ನಿಹಾರಾದ್ರೇಹೆ ತಟೈಹಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಶಿಶಿರಯತಿ ಭಕ್ತಾನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಕೂಲ್ ಶಿಶಿರಯತಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಕೂಲ್ ಶಿಶಿರ ಋತು ಯು ಮೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕೂಲ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ದ ವಿಂಟರ್ ಸೊ ಶಿಶಿರಯತಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೂಲ್ ಭಕ್ತಾನ್ make the devotees cool make the devotees mind cool they are having tapa they are always suffering from tapa from misery you remove the misery and make them cool because you have established contact with himachala that is the second point the third is adhikam anuna yogi manasa that is the third contact with adhikam a lot of contact which is with yogi manasa yogi is mind which are anuna it is the anu form minute form means what very subtle yogis are always meditating on you so their minds have become very subtle not gross like our mind because our minds are gross because we are thinking of a thousand things but they think only of one thing so they it is very subtle a subtle concentration is the characteristics of yogi manas so he says because of the subtlety and adhikam because you are in contact a lot of contact with them samparkat adhikam anuna yogi manasa because of that what happens drusham adrishyam prakatayati drusham for the eyes drusham is for the eyes adrishyam what cannot be seen what cannot be seen by the eyes prakatayati you make it clear you make it visible you make it visible what cannot be seen by the eyes what cannot be seen by the sula eyes you, you because you have attained the very subtle nature by contact with the very subtle yogi's mind you are able to show us what cannot be seen with our naked eyes that means what in our minds we are able to see your lotus feet how because of your contact with yogi's mind for ages yogis have been meditating on you so your feet have attain, attained subtlety so three points he is making your feet have attained hardness because of contact with the crowns of devas prakriti kathane by naturally they are hard because of that you are able to destroy break the delusion of the devotees because of your contact with himachala you are able to make the devotees cool because of your contact with yogi's minds which are extremely subtle you are able to show us what cannot be seen with our naked eyes pavitram yam ambe prakriti mrudulabhyam tava shive padabhyam kamakshi ಪ್ರಸಭಮಿಭೂತ ಸಚಕಿತ ಪ್ರವಾಲೈರಂಭೋಜೈ ಅಪಿ ಚ ವನವಾಸ ಪ್ರತದಶಾ ಸದೈವ ಆರಭ್ಯತೆ ಪರಿಚರಿತ ದ್ವಿಜಗಣೈ imagination he is using here and the poet is saying that the lotus feet or in competition with two objects and then he is describing those two objects pavitra abhyam amba prakriti mrudula mrudula abhyam tava shive o shive tava 
పవిత్రాభ్యాం వెరీ ప్యూర్ వెరీ ప్యూర్ ప్రకృతి మృదులాభ్యాం నాచురలీ దే ఆర్ వెరీ సాఫ్ట్ యువర్ ఫీట్ ఆర్ వెరీ ప్యూర్ అండ్ నాచురలీ దే ఆర్ వెరీ సాఫ్ట్ తవ పదాభ్యాం ఆఫ్ దోస్ ఫీట్ ఓ కామాక్షి ప్రథభం అభిభూతై స సఖితై ప్రథభం మీన్స్ విత్ ఎడ్యుటేషన్ అభిభూతై డిఫీటెడ్ స సఖితై డిఫీటెడ్ అండ్ దెన్ దే ఆర్ దే డోంట్ నో దే ఆర్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ దే ఆర్ వండరింగ్ వాట్ నెక్స్ట్ టు డూ దే హెవ్ బీన్ డిఫీటెడ్ అండ్ దే దే డోంట్ నో వాట్ టు డూ దే ఆర్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ దే ఆర్ వండరింగ్ స సఖితై హూ ఈస్ డిఫీటెడ్ అండ్ హూ ఈస్ వండరింగ్ టూ పీపుల్ ప్రవాళై అంభోజై అపి అంభోజా ఇస్ లోటస్ జలజ అంభోజ పంకజ దేర్ ఆల్ సేమ్ లోటస్ అంభోజై బై లోటస్ ప్రవాళై బై టెండర్ ప్లాంట్స్ బై షూట్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్లాంట్స్ టూ పీపుల్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ డిఫీటెడ్ బ్యాడ్లీ ప్రథభం అభిభూతై విత్ ఎడ్యుటేషన్ దే హ్యావ్ బీన్ డిఫీటెడ్ ది ది లోటస్ ఫీట్ went and defeated them with great agitation and so they are left with wonder what to do next such akitaihi by which type of fate pavitra abhyam prakriti mridula abhyam very pure and very soft by nature now they have been defeated they what do they do then vanavasa brata dashaha sadeva aarabhyante by these two people aarabhyante sadeva always or commenced always or started what is started by them vanavasa vrata dasha they are forced to be expelled to the forest they are forced to live in forest vanavasa forest life vrata not only forest life and they are going to observe vrata they are going to observe a vow dasha that is the state they are driven to the state of observing vows observing austerity and living in the forest always sadeva it is started by them because they are defeated they want to establish competition once again with the lotus feet that is the pravala and the ambhoja the tender plant and the lotus tree lotuses so they they are, they are driven to the vanavasa vanavasa the the pravala is the forest pravala the tender plant is driven to the forest ambhoja is driven to pond vana means also water vana has got two meanings vana forest as well as water so pravala the tender plant is driven to the forest ambhoja the lotus is driven to water and then they go and observe vrata how do they observe parikarita nana dvijaganaihi dvija is birds dvija is birds as well as brahmanas we have seen before dvija is birds as well as brahmanas also tooth we saw it a uh, tooth last time now dvijaganaihi by the groups of birds nana dvijaganaihi various types of birds parikarita surrounded by actually parikarita means parikarana is serving they are served by birds here it can be taken as surrounded by various types of birds that is the ambhoja as well as the pravala both of them are surrounded by different types of birds when they resort to, to water or the forest that is one meaning second meaning is when they are when they uh, observe a frost when they observe a vrata you need a brahmana for guiding you in the vrata isn't it you need a vadhya you need a upadhyaya you need a brahmana so this is that rohit so he says surrounded by different types of brahmanas then only you can do vrata so different types of brahmanas are different types of birds here because they cannot ex- expect brahmana because they have gone to the forest or water no brahmana will come to the water no brahmana will come to the forest so birds are giving them the company and they are observing the vrata this is the imagination of the poet how these two people have been defeated the tender plants and the lotuses have been defeated with great agitation by your feet which are naturally very gentle very soft which are very pure and they are left to wonder and they start always the vrata the vow and living in the forest or living in the water 
and they are surrounded by various types of birds as if they are surrounded by various brahmanas or observing brata that is the meaning chira drishya hamsaihi katham api sada hamsa sulabhu nirasyanti jadyo niyat jada madhyaik sharanu अधोष व्यासंग सततम दोषाप्तिमि परिहसति पादाब्ज युगणी Here again the poet is using words which have double meanings in many places kamakshaha payojam kamakshaha padabhya yugali payojam parihasati kamakshaha of kamakshi padabhya yugali the twin lotus feet payojam lotus parihasati it ridicules your lotus feet ridicule lotus how it ridicules he is describing chirat drishya hamsaihi hamsaihi paramahamsas paramahamsas are great yogis not uh, swan you should uh, take the meaning in the context here hamsaihi chirat drishya the lotus feet or seen for a long after a long time kiratu after a long time drishya seen hamsaihi by paramahamsas by yogis who are paramahamsas see your lotus feet after a long time katham api somehow they are able to see somehow but what happens to um, payoja the lotus sada hamsa sulabham it is always easy for swan lotus easily attainable for hamsas for swans the word hamsa is used in, in two different meanings for lotus hamsa is easy to attain for uh, lotus feet for hamsas it is not so easy chirat drishya after long time after long effort long tapas they are able to see this is the contrast so naturally lotus gets defeated lotus is ridiculed next nirasyanti dadyam नियत जड मध्य एक निरस्यम ऑलवेज रिमूविंग निरस्यंती मीन रिमूविंग ऑलवेज रिमूविंग इनर्शिया डाड्यम इज इनर्शिया इग्नोरेन्स ऑलवेज रिमूविंग इग्नोरेन्स नियत जड मध्य एक वैरस फॉर दि लोटस जड मध्य एक इट इज ऑलवेज दट इज ओनली प्लेस इट इज इन द मिडल ऑफ जड नियत ऑलवेज जड मीन इनर्ट लोटस वेस्टिंग प्लेस इज इन द मिडल ऑफ इनर्ट वाटर्स बिकॉज वाटर्स आर इनर्ट वाटर्स आर नॉट लाइक माइंड ऑफ योगी सो दे आर इनर्ट हियर इनर्शिया इज बीइंग रिमूव्ड constantly nirasanti whereas that inertia is always courted because lotus is always living in midst of inert waters niyata jada madhya eka saranam adosha vyasanga satatam api doshaapti malinam adosha vyasanga vyasanga is attachment sanga vyasanga we have seen before the lotus feet are attached to adosha absence of dosha absence of fault when people are faultless the uh, lotus feet establish a contact establish a, uh, an attachment so adosha vyasanga for the lotus feet for the lotus what happens satatam api always doshaapti malinam they become malinam is they become fade they become faded 
ये डी के वेन दोषा इज संध्या काला दोषा संध्या काला वेन द इवनिंग टाइम कम्स दोषा आप की मलिना दे अटेन मलिना दे अटेन फेडेड कैरेक्टर दे अटेन फेडेड कैरेक्टर इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ दोषा इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ संध्या काला वेर एज अदोषा इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर लोटस फीट टू बी ऑलवेज हैपी अदोष व्यासंगा सततम अपी दोषाप्ति मलिनम दिस इज द कॉन्ट्रास्ट बिटवीन द लोटस फीट एंड द लोटस Lotus becomes shrunk and dirty in contact with twilight, whereas the feet are happy in contact with absence of fault. So, your lotus feet ridicules lotus because your lotus feet are seen after long effort by Paramahamsas, whereas the lotus is very easy to attain for swans. the lotus feet always remove inertia whereas the lotus looks for courts waters which are always jada which are always inert the lotus feet establish contact with minds which are adosha which are free from fault whereas uh, lotus have no such choice they have to go through twilight and they become dirty they become faded This is the contrast. So your lotus feet ridicule, by your jaw the lotus.